hi guys welcome back to my channel and i hope you're doing well i actually feel like i've forgotten how to film because i haven't filmed like a th like a proper video in like forever like i literally don't know when the last time i literally sat down and filmed and like i feel really nervous i don't know why right hmm. um i actually feel really weird doing this I don't know why, but like I kind of felt like demotivated, there are other reasons why I couldn't film, it's just like I've been busy as well, it's just like so many different things, so I feel like now I'm ready to get back into it, well hopefully, um, if I can upload this, because I don't know why I feel really nervous, I think it's today's video I wanted to share my advice on how to know how to make the right choice for you in terms of either doing going down the uni route or in terms of like going down the apprenticeship route or doing anything else basically besides uni so I kind of want to share like the different pros and cons of going to each I guess and obviously this is like my opinion so it could like be different to yours so with uni I'd say the main thing is that you can get like a variation of courses there's literally thousands of courses and it's literally anywhere you want to go you can kind of go to because pretty much you most unis do many of the courses and it's quite open-ended so you can pretty much go into anything else um, once you've done that degree and it's kind of good as well if you're not sure what you want to do with your career because it means you've got more options whereas with an apprenticeship there isn't as many choices however I do think that's changing because three four years ago there were hardly any apprenticeships there were probably mainly with smaller companies whereas now a lot more companies are doing it there's a lot more courses so that I guess it is growing and I would always ask yourself if the career obviously it's fine if you don't know what career you want because we're only 18 19 or like do you get what I mean there is no like age of where you have to know what you want to do but ask yourself if if your preferred career that you want to go to is a degree required and if it isn't then you could probably look at apprenticeships as well or any other route because uni doesn't have to be the only one obviously it might be if you want to study like medicine but you know what with a lot of other careers out there you don't have to do the traditional route and obviously it's completely fine if you want to do that so it just depends on like if you're not sure why aren't you sure okay that was my mom i was so scared for a second so research the course as well um if you do want to go to uni if there's like a placement if there's like so like the sandwich course where you kind of work for a year if you can go abroad just see these different things that kind of want make you want to go to uni against an apprenticeship or something else and i guess in some ways um an apprenticeship not everyone does it so you do stand out whereas nowadays a lot of people are going to university so with an apprenticeship you can probably stand out against your cv so don't think a degree is essential because that was one of my biggest worries um, apart from social life which is what I will talk about after this um, after a few other things um, also to make the right choice look at how you learn because everyone learns differently I'm quite a visual learner I kind of prefer learning something than applying it to questions like I did in A levels or like applying it to like situations straight away and I don't think personally I could have hacked four years of uni and I literally say this to anyone who goes to uni hands down I give it to anyone who goes to uni because I can see how hard it is like genuinely I could not have done uni I wouldn't have been able to stay for four years gone to lectures because that's not my style of learning being in a really big environment of like 200 people and having to listen and not being able to ask questions like that whereas with an apprenticeship with my apprenticeship so far I've noticed it's in a smaller group we kind of get to study but like also ask it questions it's quite interactive and it's just like literally once i've learned it i'm literally applying it to like my tasks at google which is just so amazing because i'm literally learning it and it's easier for me to retain and like obviously an apprenticeship is kind of focused on the job whereas with uni you're kind of doing a lot of wider reading and you're kind of doing a lot of research so i think you might have to do like a dissertation so it just depends on what you enjoy and what you don't like. I personally preferred the apprenticeship after visiting unis because I feel like I am treated as an adult and like as an employee, which is what I quite like. And I think a lot of my friends would realise that that's my personality, that like I think I kind of have enjoyed the working environment ever since I've had work experience and stuff like that. So I don't think I could have waited another four years. So yeah. 
And then with an apprenticeship, obviously you get your tuition, not your tuition fees, unless you do a degree apprenticeship, but like you get your training paid for, you get um, obviously a salary, and you obviously would get other benefits. So obviously Google have amazing benefits. So it just depends on each company. But yeah, I still don't know how I got this. And honestly, I'm so grateful because I'm so happy. And then with the uni, obviously you get a degree out of it. You do have tuition fees, but I think you can get like a loan or something like that. I have no idea to be honest so like I think when I was researching stuff last year I could so tell that I wanted to do an apprenticeship or anything other than uni because I kept researching into other stuff than university stuff hence why I don't know too much I only know like the basics of it um, and obviously an apprenticeship can be very very varied so it can be from one to five years basically um, whereas uni is typically three to four years so my apprenticeship is 15 months so I will finish in January 2021 with a qualification for digital marketing but um, I have no idea what I'm going to do after it's so early to tell because I literally started like two weeks ago but um, yeah we'll see what happens but I'm kind of glad it's only 15 months because if I don't like it which I doubt because I'm, re I'm really loving it and I can see myself in this career path I could always go back to uni, I can kind of do other stuff, whereas with uni I don't think I could have gone for three, four years, especially because of the learning style, which really wasn't for me. And also in terms of the application process, I know a lot of people have asked me about this. So obviously, personally, I found the apprenticeship application harder than personal statements. So I only did one application for the apprenticeship. I was going to apply to the other ones, but during my A-levels, I found it so hard applying to one. So luckily in touch with that I got the one I wanted um if not I would have probably taken a gap year and applied to like loads more but doing one personal statement and one apprenticeship application hands down apprenticeship application was probably harder and I think a lot harder because there were quite a few different stages of like interviews phone call interviews like this like written uh, project that we had to do going in for a few hours to like the the training company to white hat and like just these different things which were quite hard um especially because i've never had an interview or anything like that before and i didn't know what to expect which is why i kind of want to help other people kind of know the differences and then there was just a personal statement for uni i'd say like obviously you have to apply for like your choices which revolve around predicted grades um which was quite hard depending if you don't get the predicted grades you wanted um but like the personal statement wasn't a big issue for me because i wasn't really interested i could tell that i didn't really want to go to uni because i wasn't excited to write my personal statement like i know most people aren't but like there was a difference when i was putting the work ethic into my application process i could just tell that i wanted the apprenticeship a lot more um especially like from the interview and stuff like that and i hope this kind of helps you make the right choice in terms of like what you want to do and I will definitely leave links down below to like all the different websites, including UCAS, the government apprenticeship website, the training company, um, just to show you that like, there are so many different things out there. Uni might be for you, apprenticeship might be, be for you. Like both of them could be right for you. Just choose, don't think you have to choose a, a certain thing because of someone else. Because, oh yeah, I was gonna touch on this, the social aspect. I really, really thought the one of the main reasons why I wanted to go to uni was a social aspect and I'm not gonna like like to meet friends to go out all of that and I thought an apprenticeship wouldn't have that and that was one of my biggest worries and I know it shouldn't have been but it was and I was speaking to a lot of other people and that was one of their biggest worries and I wanted to put it out there you will have other apprentices and like my group of apprentices there's 23 of us I think we literally are so close like we literally go out we like we have fun like we'll, we all meet up all the time like for breakfast and stuff like that like you will find your group and like even in the workplace i guarantee you there will be people there that you'll go out and it's just like don't let that be your biggest worry or your biggest decision factor between union and apprenticeships like it was for me because this is one of the reasons why i love my apprenticeship as well because there's like 23 of us and it's not as big as like uni in terms of like all the kids your age whereas i quite like that because as in i wouldn't have liked I wouldn't have liked uni in terms of the fact that there are so many people my age whereas this is kind of like mixed in a way and I quite like that there's only a small amount there's a small group of us um so yeah hopefully that helps and 
let me know if there's any other videos you want me to film um i feel like i'm gonna film a morning routine um this week or next week depending on if i get time because this is the other thing i want to say i literally come home i leave when it's dark at seven in the morning and i come home when it's dark so like i can't film and during the weekends i get so tired that i just want to rest but today i managed to film which i'm very proud of myself especially because i haven't been feeling myself lately not gonna lie so yeah and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful um let me know if there's any questions and i can happily answer them in the comments down below and i shall see you soon bye